Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Tracy here, back with another video. And today, uh, it's going to be my last video of this Sunday. I'm just going to be going over the New York Jets 2019 NFL schedule. I know it's a bit, I mean, a year in the future, but, you know, never too late to know who you're playing and to know what you're going to be running into. So, We'll start off with the home games. Of course, we have the New England Patriots, Miami Dolphins, Buffalo Bills, all division rivals, so we must play them by rule of the NFL. Um, I'm looking at this list, and we do seem to have a lot more away games than we do home, like maybe two more. Uh, and that's a lot for a team because a team like us could go 6-10 and 10 just because of that. Um, looking at more games, we have the Cleveland Browns again for the second straight year. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, which is always a great match when the Steelers and Jets clash. The Dallas Cowboys and the Jets are actually one of my favorite matches to watch. The New York Giants, we're actually playing the Giants again. Thankfully, I've been waiting four years since Josh Brown missed that field goal to up the ante a little bit, try and get some more shit on the Giants. And the final home game we have is the Oakland Raiders, which should actually be a really good match. The Raiders always come to play with it, uh, when it um, when they're playing the Jets, and the Jets seem now that they're just a better team, and um, the Jets always do play uh, when they're facing the Raiders as well. I think the last four games between Oakland and New York is 2-2. Two two. So let's hope we can edge out the, se uh, the series. Now let's go away, uh, over to our away games. The New England Patriots, Miami Dolphins, Buffalo Bills, of course, the division rivals. We have the Washington Redskins, which is actually going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, if we can beat that team, I think we can beat any other team on our home schedule. Um, just saying, uh, if Alex Smith plays that match and we beat the Redskins, we're going to make the playoffs that year. We also have the Philadelphia Eagles. I might be going to that game. Um, I'm definitely going to Jets-Giants, though. I might be going to the Jets-Eagles as well. So y'all can catch me there if you want to. Um, New York Jets versus Philadelphia Eagles. That's always a great matchup, I feel like. The last time I faced was in the preseason. I was actually at that game. It was 9-10 to when the Eagles scored with 17 seconds left. Boy, wasn't that great. Uh, I was surrounded by Eagles fans. Uh, we were having a good time. Uh, shout out to Eagles fandom. Uh, it's actually a pretty good um, fan base. All of them, they're not as toxic I w as I would have thought. They're really nice people. Um, and I think I want to go uh, to another Eagles game to check it out because Eagles fans are just really nice pe people. I don't know what it is. They're my kind of people. Kids that rage at the um, fucking game. Uh, I'm getting demonetized for that. Sorry, this isn't a kid-friendly stream, even though I'm a kid. But, uh, yeah, I curse a little bit. So if you guys don't like that, I'm sorry. You can leave a comment saying that, and I'll try to change my ways a little bit. We have the Cincinnati Bengals. I actually do love that match when the Jets play the Bengals. It's always a great matchup. Baltimore Ravens, you know what I feel about the Ravens and the Jets. I think that's one of the best rivalries in the NFL. Uh, it's one of the. It's actually the most underrated rivalry in the NFL, besides the New York Jets at the Jacksonville Jaguars. For some reason, this is always a great matchup. Even when the Jaguars went ten and six and the Jets went five and eleven, it was still an amazing matchup. Jets versus Jaguars is always a great game. Jets always come to play. Jets always win, and the Jaguars always make it close. Though we, they almost, they always put us away until the Jets just pull some crazy shit out of their ass. Um, but, yeah, I think this is going to be a really good season next year. Um, just judging by this, I'm going to go um, game by game on this, what I think it's going to be. First, home against the New England Patriots. I think we pull out a win. That's not bias. I just feel like it's going to be a statement. If we have Jim Harbaugh, then we're going to win that game. Uh, home against the Miami Dolphins. We should definitely win that matchup. I don't know what will happen in the draft. Maybe they get a QB. But we should definitely beat the Miami Dolphins at home. So we start off 2-0. Definitely beat the Buffalo Bills at home. Start off 3-0. Uh, 
Oh, that's a bit of a tough one. I think we... Okay, who am I kidding? We're going to lose to the Patriots. Um, and we're going to beat the Cleveland Browns. So, 3-1. and one. Nice start. Playing the Pittsburgh Steelers, always a hard match. I think that's going to be now. Um, the Dallas Cowboys. So, we're 3-2 and two right now. Dallas Cowboys. The Jets always win. Yeah, the Jets always win. 4-2. and two. New York Giants, easy. 5-2. and two. Uh, six and two. I think we got to win against the Oakland Raiders. We're gonna lose to the Cowboys, by the way. So five and three. Uh, Patriots we lose five and four. Dolphins we lose five and five. Buffalo we win six and five. Redskins. I'm gonna look at this as a statement win where we get a win on the road against Washington. I'm gonna go seven and five. Philadelphia Eagles. I think we take an L there. Seven and six. Cincinnati Bengals easy dubs. Eight and six. Baltimore Ravens, I think we take an L. Um, eight and seven. Jacksonville Jaguars, final match. I think this is an this is a pretty hard game to win. It's gonna test the Jets. And I think we pull out a win. So nine and seven. Um, maybe we can go nine and seven next year. Who knows? I'm a very Yeah, this is if we get Jim Harbaugh. If we get Mike McCarthy, I'll just put it down to seven and nine. But I'm a very I, I I'm very optimistic about the Jets. Um, that's probably why I think this. Y'all can put down what you want in the comment section. Realistically, we might go seven and nine, but nine and seven is a good thing to look up to. I think we could even go ten and six. So, uh, thank y'all for watching. We should go eight and eight, or we should go nine and seven based on the schedule. But I think we uh we lose a game to Miami and we win a game against Washington for some reason. Um, yeah, thank y'all for watching, and kids, stay the fuck out of trouble, I will not use that, actually, I'll leave a link to Troy Dan's, uh, Troy Dan Reacts and Troy Dan Gaming in the description, because I've been using that a lot, um, but thank you guys, Gunga up, shout out to Gucci Game Tensor in the description.